Hey there, it's Jeff here again from Picture Time, and I'm back with episode two of our Model A Woody sedan restoration with my father-in-law, Tim. So, Everybody loves when I say, say hi, Tim. Hi, Tim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so from, from the last video, we drove all the way down to McAllen, Texas, Great. and we bought this 31 Model A Woody sedan, and we got it all loaded up in the U-Haul. And then I flew home and you guys drove it all the way back. It was a great trip, actually. You all yeah. worked out beautifully. 20 footer. 20 footer full. I mean, it was like floor to ceiling full of stuff. Yeah, absolutely full. So since then, we've gotten it back to the cabin in northern Wisconsin and you guys have unpacked everything. So today what we're going to do is we're going to take you through just what we found when we unboxed everything and see what we had to work with. Yep. Exactly. And then uh, I think later on, we're going to take the engine down to Jordan, Minnesota, get that started on the rebuild. Right. There's a man there that does a, does a terrific job for all the Model A people in the area, in the Midwest, really. Yeah. So Great. Great. Hey, we're just unloading this truck. And uh, can't believe how many parts there are. It's doubles of everything, I think, which is kind of cool. Uh, so we got a lot of the stuff off from around the, the, ca the chassis. And uh, now we're putting the chassis in the garage because that's the first thing we need to work on as we go forward here. So we're going to roll it into the garage and put it in position for the process to begin. All right, so Tim, we're here in the garage uh, and I see that we have it looks what looks to be a Model A behind us here. What, what do we got? What do we find so far? Well, uh, we have the chassis and uh, we've got some of the new parts and some of the old parts, just kind of trying to figure out what goes with where. I didn't know how the floor all went, so I put the pieces all together and I put them together just on a temporary basis just to get an idea in my own mind how this works. And actually, it's very, very simple, very straightforward. It's two pieces, actually, with a lot of little pieces in between. And these all get bolted to the frame, ultimately. And also, we've got a cowl that is needing to be worked on, but it's in pretty good shape, really. We need to rebuild the uh, steering uh, uh, box, and I got a really nice steering wheel that'll work for that. But what we need to do with the cowl is we need to actually uh, stand blast everything. We need to take and clean the gas tank, take that all apart. We've got a couple patches we need to be, make on the cowl that'll be pretty minor, really. So after today, we're going to take uh, all of this back off of the body, off of the chassis, because it doesn't need to be there anymore. And we need to strip the frame, uh, the chassis down to the frame, and then we're going to sandblast the frame and then uh, put some uh, frame paint on it. That'll work out really, really well. We need to take the front end, go through it completely with new kingpins, go through the brakes, make sure that's all working well, get it cleaned up, get all the bushings and tie rod ends and what everything uh, re rebuilt and replaced as needed. And we do have new tires with, uh, um, with uh, also the rims that are, that are uh, newly powder coated. And so they'll all go together really nicely as well. And then the rear end, we need to take that out as well and do the same thing where we clean up the springs, the uh, shackles, the uh, bushings, and uh, we need to go through the rear end, make sure that that's all working well. And the brakes again, and uh, again, new tires and, and so rims. So this is, this is the new floor right here, This right? is the new floor right here that uh, came from Pleasantville, New York, and uh, they built it as a kit, which really works out slick. And then we also got uh, some of the doors. We got all the old pieces from the well, old these are, car. So these are the old doors. These are the original you just doors. Put them on here so kind of to test them. Just, just kind of just to get a feeling in my mind what how it goes together. So we just there's a there's a hinge that actually goes into the original uh, slots where the hinges were on on any regular Model A body, straight windshield body. And uh, so the doors just hinge right there with this piano hinge that's made specifically for this purpose, and it opens up. And then there's a suicide door that opens the other direction. They're not hooked up right now, of course, but uh, that gives you an idea. These doors aren't actually bad, bad shape. They're actually pretty nice, but well, we uh, we're, get we're getting, we got new doors, new every, everything new, the new doors, new end panel, this pan panel will sit up here. And again, that'll be, that'll be all, all new, but it gives you an idea at least how, how it'll all go together. There's a long uh, member that goes across the top that'll tie everything together and the identical on the other side. And then we've got a tailgate and uh, all the related pieces. And then there's a, a roof structure that goes over the top. So we have some work to do, but the very first thing we have to do is we have to strip the frame, get the chassis down to uh, original metal and get that all rebuilt from the ground up. Once we get that done, then we can get the cowl rebuilt and in place, and then we can build the wood body after that. So it'll all come together very nicely. So what do we do with, uh, there was tons of stuff in that trailer. Over here in the garage, you got some stuff cataloged. I guess you and my son, Nolan, uh, went through and organized some of this stuff. Show us what we got over here. Right. Well, Mr. Johnstone, where we got all the material from, had things organized very, very well. And the clear containers are boxes that he had all put together. 
And then uh, what we were able to do is sort them into other boxes that we had had here and I had already had for my inventory. And it's organized things into all the different uh, categories that you'll see here. So we can find things very easily to be able to work on uh, all the different parts without uh, having to spend a lot of time looking because it's all together, it's all organized and ready to go. And what kind of condition as you went through this stuff, what kind of condition were you noticing? Well, a lot of the parts were either new or they were rebuilt. Uh, like for example, the shifting lever and emergency brake lever are all re-chromed, which is very nice. I can show you what we have here for those, which is kind of a neat, neat thing. And uh, gives you an idea what we're gonna end up with. It'll be a nice show quality car when we're done. So, for example, a shifting lever, it's all nicely re-chromed and ready to go in the transmission. Actually, the transmission is sitting right here. So we'll be able to put the, uh, the transmission all back together. We need to clean everything up, get everything ready to go painted, and that'll all come together nicely. And then we also have uh, several other parts here that, is, that uh, really works out well. We've got, uh, for example, the uh, dash with all of the different uh, places for the ammeter, the, the switch, the gas level, the fuel in indicator rather, and then the speedometer, zeroed out and it's ready to go. So a lot of neat things like that that are all ready to go and, and uh, I'm very excited about being able to start getting it back together. We also got more stuff out in the shed. Should we go look at that? Yeah, let's go look at it. We've got uh, all, the, all the other wood parts and seats and that kind of thing. So we'll take a look and get an idea of what's right, going on there. All right, let's go check it out. Thanks. Uh oh, what are you guys? What are you boys doing? She's got a some baby guns. Baby guns. Oh, are you being careful? Yes, we are. Okay. And these guys are going to help us do the, uh, the the rebuild. They're very excited about it. They're twelve year old boys that are just getting into uh, exciting things like mechanics and the Model A's so. and BB guns. And BB, and BB guns. guns. Okay. okay. Um, uh, we're gonna walk to the shed, so no shooting okay. us. Okay. Okay. We'll That'd try not to. Okay. All right. Oh yes, here's the shed with all kinds of fun cars and stuff. We have a 31 truck, a 30 sedan. Yeah, and we did the videos on those. So for those on the channel that haven't or just joining us or whatever, want to see a drive video of the of the truck and then the full tour we did of the 30 sedan, we can do that. All right. So what do we what do we got with for parts here? Well, one of the neat things that we have is we've got the, the new doors. And, uh, and end panels. And then on the other side of the pontoon boat, we have the roof stored. We can't see that so much right now, but we've got our fenders stored up on the, uh, on the side wall as well. But then we've got a whole bunch of extra. Oh yeah, here's all those bins that he had. Yeah, we have bins uh, for every nut and bolt that you could ever think of on a Model A that uh, Mr. Johnstone uh, organized. And uh, so that's a great resource for rebuilding uh, anything on the Model A that you want. We also brought four engines back from McAllen. Yeah, we're bringing those down to Jordan today. Jordan. Yeah, to get, and we'll pick one of those and get rebuilt, right? Exactly, yeah. So that's, yeah. that's good to go. And then we, we got a bunch of extra rims as well, which are in really good shape. They're uh, not pitted. They're excellent. But did you say you had some rims that were already done and powder coated? Yes. But those would be some extras that we would have just in case we need them or we wanted to sell them to somebody else. So it's a great thing. Yeah, when we get done with this project, I imagine we might have a few extra parts that we could... Well, we will. We will have a lot of extra parts because we have maybe doubles and triples of most things and sometimes four. Anything else we need to see in here that you guys unloaded? Well, we did unload some things. Uh, it's kind of tight in here right now because we have everything stored here for from the... Uh, for our Wisconsin winter? For our Wisconsin winter, yeah. But we've got a lot of seat parts and uh, like, for example, here's some extra wood parts that are parts that fit in. Here's the seat base right here, for example. And here we have the uh, rear wheel, wheel, wheel wells, easy for you to say. And for both sides, and we also have the old ones here. These are in perfect shape. They just need to have a light sandblast, and they'll be ready to go. But also, we have all of the seat springs for the uh, front seat, for the jump seats in the middle, and for the rear seat. And you can't see them very well because they're all tucked in here, but we have all the, the cushions and uh, all of the other accessories stored away here. Uh, but they're here, but uh, not quite ready to put on yet. We've got, got a little work, work to do. We have also the new tires and the new powder coated rims up here as well on the uh, on the shelf so it's not easy to see because they're all tucked away don't trip okay <laughs> one of the neat things that uh, we have with the car is all of the metal pieces these are the three brackets that go on the tailgate and they are the hinge pins right here 
and these are the connectors for the tailgate and here's the other corresponding pieces that go with the tailgate that bolt up to the wood and, and those will are, get cleaned up and oh, yeah. painted and stuff like totally. that and then there's more brackets here for holding the back pieces together angle brackets door stops so we got a lot of uh, metal parts that are going to work out great i think we got everything that we need and uh, so we're ready to go just by cleaning them up painting them and putting them in place well um so we're, we're getting kind of the end of this particular video here but what are the next steps so the motors are going to go down and get rebuilt and then you're you said you're going to take part the uh chassis now now that you know where kind of the parts go and we'll start stripping that down right what are the next steps here well the next step will be getting the chassis all rebuilt and that'll be maybe uh two three months that we get that done and i'd like to get the engines back by about march 1st so we can put that on the chassis and get that all ready to go and actually making it a running running chassis where the engine is running and we're able to actually do some test driving to make sure that it's working like it should and the car will have to go on for that as well it's just so we can get the gas and all the electronics were uh, ready to go and then uh, the next step will be to put the body on. So it's a, it's a several step, step process. I don't think we'll get it done by car show time next summer, but we'll at least be able to maybe get it on the road and just drive it a little bit yeah. and uh, check it out. And we'll do some body, there's going to be body work, obviously, on the fenders and the cowls. Right. You, now you got some new fenders coming too, right? Well, I, I was able to find fenders in southern Wisconsin and Beloit and uh, the, the two front fenders. We have three good front fenders, but it needs to have a uh, spare tire well on the left side and we didn't have one of those so we found uh, on market uh, facebook marketplace that uh, one was available down in beloit so we picked that up last week and we just have to pick it up from my nephew down in edgerton uh, and uh, get that coming here so great so obviously you can see uh, a big amount of work to do ahead of us but quite a few parts we're all organized we're all ready to go and uh I encourage you to just uh, subscribe to, to click that little bell and uh, get a notification when we release a new video because we'll be uh, continually putting out content here as we get through the restoration on this car. So thanks again for watching and uh, we should have a new video uh, on the engine rebuild, at least delivering those engines down to Jordan here for you uh, very soon. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.